Hello again, this is Robert Veach here, and this is my video review of the Astro AI brand or digital multimeter, the true RMS auto ranging color LCD voltmeter. And this thing just measures a ton of things voltage, current, amps, resistance, continuity, duty cycle, capacitance, temperature, and it has a three year warranty and lifetime techno support. It complies with EEC 61010 1 International Electrical Standards. It also works with category 3 and category 4 for 1000 volts or 600 volt over voltage safe. It has a smart mode that comes up where it automatically measures voltage AC or DC or ohms or continuity. So you have a choice or you go to manual mode and you can walk through and manually step through all the different functions on the meter. Really, 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 really nice quality. So I'm just going to jump into using this to show you all the features that it has. So I shut a lot of the studio lights off so that we could see what's going on here. To power the unit on, you just hold the power button down and I shut it off like I just did. You just hold it down again. It comes on like that. And you notice it goes into automatic mode and that means that voltage, DC and AC, and resistance and continuity will be automatically detected when you put those leads in right there. It does light up the leads for a temporary amount of time to let you know what's going on. On the side, there is an LED, and you're gonna love that when you're doing electrical work, when you have all the power out, you'll be able to see the electrical box. That's really nice. And then on the left, there's a button right there. When you hit that button, that little display goes away. That display is telling you that it will automatically turn off the machine after 15 seconds of inactivity. If you hit that button there, then it'll stay on. Now when you first turn this on, let's turn it off again. You notice there's two LEDs are blinking right there. It's telling you to put the test leads into those two positions right there. And we're going to do that. We're going to take the positive and put it right there. I'm going to take the negative. Make sure you remove that little plastic piece right there. And now we're connected up to what they recommend you connect it to. Now one of the, the first things I'm going to show is there is a uh, NCV live function and if you hit this button you go out of automatic mode and you could step through all the different modes and you notice there is N NCV live right there and allows you to detect high voltage so see how it's warning you going there an outlet right there so that's an outlet right there so that's nice. It also has a visual indicator. You can see it goes in green to red. And it'll detect even lower voltage things like USB 5, 5 volt uh, systems. And then you cycle through and you can go back to individually automatic mode. And auto mode is real simple. It's, we're going to show you that next. Here's an 18650 lithium ion battery and let's go in the auto state let's see if it's going to show us the voltage on here I'm going to touch one end on the negative the other end on the positive and you can see it says 4.019 I'm still in the auto mode and I have a resistance box right here let's see if I can just put this across here and see what it tells me and you can see it's showing 68 ohms if I change the switch it's going to go to the higher resistance and it goes to 100.2 ohms. So it automatically is measuring resistance for me. Now I twisted off the caps so that I can have the long leads and I'm still on the auto mode. Let's see if I can go across 120 volts right here. And you can see it automatically detected it's 124 volts. And it also tells me that it's 60 Hertz on the display, which is really neat. So you can see how versatile the automatic function is. Now let's say we want to go to manually. I'm going to show you one of the other functions on here. I'm going to manually step through and we're going to go to NCV Live. There is a sensor right there and if I go towards the high voltage, 120 volts, you can see it goes from green as I approach then it goes to red. So that's a real nice way to simply see if you have an active fuse box on so that you can safely see that it has voltage on there. Now I'm going to demonstrate if we can measure milliamp. So 
I switch this to milliamp and there's amps. Now when I first go to that mode, it's going to blink letting me know what leads I have to be on. It shows milliamp hour and common. So I'm going to follow those lights and I'm going to go between the common and where the current is. And here I have the resistance box and that battery. So let's see if I can measure some current by putting the leads in series right here. And you can see it says 36 milliamp. And of course if I go for higher resistance, it's going to get lower. If I go to lower resistance, it's going to go higher. So there's 50 milliamps. When you're measuring milliamps or amps, you can hit the select button and you can go between AC or DC. And you know when you go to AC, it says true RMS, so it's going to measure true RMS. I want to point out that I'm in milliamps and if I go to change the function to amps, it does let me, it beeps because it senses that I have these in the wrong position. So if I undo the positive one, then I go to amps, then it's telling me that I've got to change it to that connector right there and now it's ready to measure amps. So let's just see if I can get some larger value on here. I'm going to lower the resistance and I'm going to put the battery right here, across there. I lowered, the, I lowered the resistance. Let's see if I can get some amp reading right there. And you can see it's 0.24 amps. So it's accurately telling me the current that's going from that battery through this resistance box and through the meter, letting me know the actual DC current. If I have the leads in the wrong position, like I do, I'm on amps and I have it still in the common and the voltage, you notice the red lights up and it says lead letting me know that I'm in the wrong position and then of course that goes away that warning because now it's in the right position for the auto detect functions on there now let's say you want to measure capacitor so I have a capacitor box right here you could uh, move this across and it goes to the little symbol of capacitance and I can put this across this capacitor box right here and it's telling me 15.45 nanofarads. Of course, I could change this. I can get different values. So that's really handy if you have a, a spare bunch of parts. You have a capacitor, a drawer full of them, and you can't really see the label on there. You don't have good vision, whatever. You could use this meter to measure all the capacitors and get them all organized in your shop. That's the, that's the price of this meter is worth it just for that one function right there, in my opinion. Now I'm going to move the function along to the diode position. Now it's in a diode position. Here is a standard rectifier diode. And I'll put it across it like that. And look, it's telling me the forward voltage, uh, 0.413. And... Uh, so right now I've got the negative on the negative and the positive on the positive and it's conducting showing me that it's a working diode. If I go the other direction, you notice it doesn't show any conduction because now you're not forward biasing that diode. So that's excellent for determining bad diodes in a circuit. A lot of power amplifiers use diodes just like this in the front end for rectification. We'll be able to test it now using the Astro AI meter. And there is a min max button on here where you could have it save the minimum max and it'll hold uh, or release it hold the the value so that if the meter is registering something 20 volts have that selected it will hold that number so that you could read it and get back to the meter later on so here in my lab area and i've just got the the astro ai measuring voltage on one of my control circuits and of course i could change the voltage and see the changes but I believe that number right there, 3.662 volts. And I could just change it by turning this up or down and seeing a corresponding change in the voltage. So it's really nice to be able to measure voltage real time. Now here's one of the coolest features I think of this meter. I have a signal generator going and a frequency counter going and a power supply for that. And I want to measure the output of this. So I have it across the meter and I have it on hertz and percentage. And look what it's showing 2.1 kilohertz, which is matching what I'm reading right there. 
and it's showing 49.9%. That's the duty cycle because I have it set to 50% duty cycle. Unbelievable. So that is a really valuable feature to have to know the frequency and the duty cycle. And now I switched it in the auto mode and I still have it connected to that generator. And look what it's showing me. It's showing me that it's 4.8 volts true RMS. And it's even telling me the frequency right there. So on this mode, it's telling me the actual RMS voltage of this that's coming out of here. Of course, if I increase it there, then you see a big increase on the meter right there. So it's telling me the frequency and the AC RMS. Really, really invaluable information. Next thing I'm going to show is I've moved the auto function along to centigrade Fahrenheit. You can see right there. And I don't have any leads in there. And right now it's telling me the room temperature. There's a sensor inside here. And it has both Fahrenheit and centigrade, which is really nice. You don't have to worry about converting it. So if you're used to centigrade, it's right there. Or Fahrenheit, right there. Now we're going to put the probes that it comes with into here. We're going to show you what that does. So here I have the included thermistor probe plugged in where it has a real tiny thermistor right there which is great because it's going to respond quickly to temperature changes. So now it's not measuring room temperature anymore, it's going to measure this sensor. So I'm going to touch it right there which should elevate the temperature and you can see it's going up 88, 89, 32C. So it's very quick acting. They use a really small thermistor which is really nice and you can accurately get the temperature on whatever you're touching that on and that's invaluable if you're testing the heat on a power transistor for an amplifier or an inverter you can actually measure the temperature right on that component to see if it's overheating so after testing the astro ai brand or digital multimedia what do i think about this product i really like this product it's a very good value i've never seen a multimeter this thin that automatic function is really nice the led in the back just a lot of functionality as I demonstrated, measuring capacitance, measuring voltage, AC, DC, continuity, diodes, current, uh, AC current, DC current, and of course, um, RMS. You can measure RMS voltages on a signal generator or an amplifier, and temperature, and extra batteries. Really high quality test leads on this device. You can't go wrong with this product. To me, this, this should be over $100, and it's a great price on Amazon. So I'm going to give this product a full five-star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert the new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helped you with all your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.